How's it going everybody, and welcome to The Doll, an indie horror game supposedly based on a real case. You're the proud new owner of a home far away from the city. That is, until you start noticing some strange things. Hello mom, I'm sending you this letter to tell you that I bought a house outside the city. It was too cheap and I took advantage of it. I bought it from a very nice man. He said he'd bought a house in a different country and I asked him why. He didn't answer me and left. The important thing is that I bought the house in a few days. I will visit you and I will tell you more about the house. It seems nice enough. How beautiful. Nature and me. Well, I'm gonna go take a look at the house, and then I will go shopping. Nice. Car sounds badass. This is quite beautiful. See, this game's a little bit spooky because I feel like this is something that could actually happen to me. Let's go check out our brand new home. Uh, it said we were far away from the city, but those must be just really big buildings, huh? Go check out this bad boy. I'm not gonna lie, kind of looks like a Minecraft house. But that's alright. Okay. It's a little bit strange. We can't go into the rolling hills back there. Pretty weird shape of a house. It is massive though. All right, let's go check this beauty out. <laughs> There's piles of garbage in our house. It's a fixer upper, no biggie. This house is quite dirty. Tomorrow I will clean it. I have to go shopping tonight. I'm tired. I want to sleep for a while. I don't blame you, brother. Oh, someone made our dishes all nice. That's great. House came with some nice furniture. Looks like we got nice bed, a radio, a sick picture. Okay, could be worse. Plenty of space. I thought I heard something knocking for a second. All right, let's head out to the store. Not? already slept too much. Okay, so we can sleep. Must go to the car to make purchases. Okay, we just need a little nap before the store, no biggie. Our house looks almost brighter at night. It's kind of weird. Well, at least we shut the door. I totally left that open last night. It's 
still a pretty little forest, even with the creepy music. Go ahead and head to the store. Here we go. Um, definitely more on the gas station side than I expected. What's up, brother? We came looking for some chips. Dude, like the old shelf. My dude's eating tonight. Get some sodi pop. Oh, got some guys uh, having a casual conversation. They put a house up for sale these days? Yes, it's the house of that crazy old man who died recently. Hmm? Huh? Crazy? Why was he crazy? It is said that his son died. It is not known how he died, but the old man became depressive. He began to create a doll that he began to treat as his dead son, dressing him, feeding him, even taking him for a walk in the street. The cause of death of the old man is unknown. He had no relatives, only his son who died. Uh, surely it's just a coincidence. The old man who sold us our house moved away. Let's uh, take this whole shelf. About like six bottles of hot sauce. You gonna get any ice cream? Ooh. I don't know if that's ice cream I would eat. All right, I think we're good. Would be about 30 bucks. Thank you for your purchases. Honestly, that's not too bad for gas station food. Okay, let's head on out of here with our garbage bag full of groceries. Unless there's something back in here. Hey, bud. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just checking the register. Here we go. Right on the passenger side. I must put the bag on the table. Okay, we took a nap. We got our snacks, some sodi pop. We're ready to get down to work. Maybe clean this place up a little bit. I'm sure nothing, nothing strange is going on. The rumors, different old guy, different house in the woods. Well, now I have to clean up the garbage. I have to get a broom. I'll check behind the house. Okay, I don't know why we'd go behind the house at night time. I didn't see a broom. Oh, there's that weird thing we saw earlier. Um... What? Yeah, a creepy, fathomably dark pit in the backyard with a candle. Yeah, for sure. That's what I would expect to go get a broom. Dude, what? Yeah, I don't know about this. Okay, everything looked great. I was seeing the silver lining. There was nothing wrong. It was all talk. This is freaking weird. Oh, God. Okay, it's just a boy. It's just a doll. Hmm. Uh, it was just... Oh my. Uh. Um. 
Uh, is there a broom down here? Oh, great. Torture devices. A literal guillotine. What is this? An, uh, what are they called? Iron Maiden? An axe? Oh, great. There's that broom. Let's grab that. Got a saw and an awful picture. I will make you perfect, son. That's it. Okay, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. We got our broom, and we'll just uh, shut this, lock it, and never talk about it again. Oh. I have no idea what that said. Okay, yeah, let's just get on out of here. Time to sweep the cabin. Who would think of keeping a broom in such a place? That were all those paintings of dolls. Dude, yeah, the bigger question is, what the hell is that place on your property, bro? Hey, whatever, we lock that up, we forget about it, and this place is still pretty nice. Let's go clean this up. Sweep up that massive pile of garbage. That one. Good. Now I have to throw away the garbage. Dude, yeah, look at this place. Better already. Dude, we're triple fist in those bags. That's pretty good. Okay, the garbage cans are just a mile walk that way, but... We need to shake off what we just experienced down in that dungeon. I am tired. I will go to sleep for a while. Tomorrow the moving truck will pass by with the furniture I left in the apartment. Oh, sick. Time to pimp out the bachelor pad. Let me shut our door. There we go. So far, so good. I mean, the creepy dungeon is questionable, but... The truck should be arriving at any moment. Huh. Are those paintings always there? Or am I crazy? Go check out what we got. Dang, they're already here. Let's go say hi to this kind gentleman. Dude, you are a giant. What the hell? Thank you for bringing my furniture here. You're welcome. Just let me know when you finish putting up your furniture. What a nice guy. Okay. Maybe we're just really short. Dude, we're a maniac. We can carry that all by ourselves. Let's go. I'm thinking we'll slap this one right in the bedroom. Perfect. Now we gotta make this trip all the way back. We got ourselves a TV. Where's this going? Can't mount that above the fireplace. Oh, in our bedroom. Boom. Look at that. That's looking cozy. What, are we going to carry this massive wardrobe on our back? Let's see. Yep, looks like it. That's gonna be it. Can you tell this guy that's all? Nope, he wants to... Wait for us to make sure we don't die carrying this thing. Throw our wardrobe right in here. Boom. Well, now I have to tell the driver that everything is ready. Okay, this walk... 
Kind of sucks. <laughs> this is like the tenth time I've walked back and forth from the furthest part of this game. All finished up, brother. Thanks. Everything is ready. Hey, thanks for all the help. All right, let's go enjoy our fresh new pad. I have to go to my mother's house. I'm going to get some clothes from my closet and I'm leaving. I see you, bro. Thanks for the help. Jesus, what the hell? Holy. Uh. What's a fucking dummy doing here? I'm gonna go throw it away. I'll put him on that chair for now. And look for clothes to leave. Oh my god, dude. That got me good. Um... Where are we throwing this creepy ass thing from Goosebumps? Chair is he going in? Dude, this thing is terrifying to look at. Oh, great. Right by our bed to look over us at night. Let's get dressed. Let's go to the car. Oh, thank God he's still there. I would highly advise us to throw that away right now, but I guess that's just me. All right, let's go see mommy. I'm home. I'll go to sleep. I have to work tomorrow. Kind of hoping we'd get to see her. All right, when we go in here and that doll is missing, that is completely our fault. Home sweet home. Nah, you gotta be kidding me. This ain't okay. Oh! He's gone. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he in here? Hey, bud. You gotta go. Time to throw him away. I'm not seeing him in the house anywhere. Okay, I guess we're gonna go way over to the dungeon and check the dungeon. What? Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Oh yeah, this is not suspicious at all. Totally not a trap. Here we go again. You. These are foul. Uh, where's the old man I bought the house from? Hmm. 
I don't even want to get closer. Oh, he left us a little note. Now you follow your... Now you follow your... I'm assuming that means we're supposed to follow him. He's a doll. <laughs> A mother reported that her 23-year-old son was missing. The police searched and found the boy's house. There was a trail of blood to the back of the house. There was a door that led to a bunker. The door was closed. They opened it and entered. When they went down there, there were blood stains everywhere until they found the 23-year-old dead. He was with a doll with eyes full of blood. The police investigated the case but did not find the murderer. Oh, they found him. They found him all right. And that is going to be it for the doll. That was a creepy little game, that's for sure. Pacing was a little bit weird, but overall, an enjoyable experience. Jump scares got me a couple times, but dolls are always creepy though, so that's a given, I guess. That's going to be it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video, show that with a like. Comment below your thoughts on the game, and subscribe to be notified on the next video. And until next time, see ya.